we live at Waipapa Station, which is situated in Rua Kiwi Tiakia, an hour west of Hamilton, on the west coast of the North Island of New Zealand. We like cattle breeding because it's, uh, for us, it's uh, something that we've been brought up with and it runs in our veins and I guess it's the closest thing to addiction that you can have and uh, we are both very, very passionate breeding an animal from start to go. So to be able to make a business out of your passion and hobby is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So White Papa uh, Station uh, is 864 hectares, which is about 2,200 acres. So it's, it's a breeding operation as well as finishing and uh, lamb finishing as well on the on the sheep side. So we we aim to finish around five to eight thousand lambs this year on our sheep side of the operation, and um, we are calving this coming season 400 cows, um, registered cows and we're going to trade on Waipapa about 800 steers. Our opinion on the role of our ownership and our time with this uh, farm at Waipapa is, is, is leaving it at a better state than what we got it with. It's it's to perform for us, but to be there for future. The performance that we add in our cattle is the exact same fundamentals as the performance we expect out of our lands. We'd like to think we are contributing to the commercial industry in New Zealand and the fact that we try to run our cows in the commercial aspect. That is one of the things that we strive for um, and that comes through performance driven goals through our own business and also the passion and the aggression for us trying to build towards the end product in mind which is a quality product. So to improve performance we have to improve our genetic gain. We believe uh, what we're doing to change the cattle industry uh, in New Zealand is taking on science um, and some of those things is uh, EBVs. Uh, we're using uh, traits and measuring our stock from birth right through. And by recording all this information, we're getting more of an idea on where each individual stands. So when we measure a lot of these traits, it's all the traits that you can't see from the outside. So. We're identifying the stuff on the inside that in years gone past weren't available to us. Those tools weren't available. So we've, we've really used those tools in our breeding program and it's really exciting when we start looking inside the animal. I think the biggest progression for our clients is their females that they're breeding now. So the just like our breeding program as we touched on before, which we have advances in our, in, our, in our young females so we're now starting to see that in our clients and it's just a it's just a roll-on effect. Uh, we love working in a partnership together the da good days and the bad days you share and the ups and the downs you share we're pretty lucky that we both have a passion and an interest in the same thing and it certainly makes makes it a lot easier um, we're very lucky that our children also enjoy what we do, so family holidays often is uh, looking at black cows. Being a mum involved in the cattle industry um, and the cattle enterprises um, gives you an insight into how the cow thinks, I guess, and um, you know, you want your children to grow, <laughs> you want the cows to make the calves grow. It's, um, it's a great place to bring children up on a farm and, and involved in the stud industry but involved in the commercial side of it too, so they, they keep the grounding. So at Waipapa Station this year we will finish and turn over about 800 steers. We think this is quite important that as a, as a breeder 
we're, we're getting quite a big insight. So we try to buy a lot of our own genetics because we know what they're going to do. So our biggest driver probably in our own business is um, every bit of grass we grow has got a value on it. So kilograms of dry matter value. So in our breeding operation, we're trying to make our cattle grow but finish quicker. So for being on the finishing side, the less feed we can feed that animal to get to weight and then hit all the targets on premiums is more money bottom line. When it comes down to breeding great females, we if you haven't got a great cow herd you don't have any and our females are our, is our investment for the future. Every day when we do a, a mating or every day when we get up it's to breed that great female. And if we haven't got females, we haven't got anything.